For this storage system, we will need one industrial combiner, four industrial splitters, that's one for every three boxes, 10 storage adapters, that's one for each box, and nine industrial conveyors, one for each box, not including our drop boxes. We can begin by placing storage adapters on each of our boxes. One of these chests will be designated as an overflow chest slash excess items that can't be stored in the other chests or don't meet the filters. We can then place each of our conveyors for each of our chests. From here, we can place a splitter for each set of three and then one final splitter that will connect to all of these and to the right of that splitter we will put a combiner now we will actually need one more storage adapter just for our drop chest and we can use as many drop chests as we want we just need to use more splitters uh, i mean more combiners to connect them all. So, we will be connecting our Dropbox into our combiner, going from our combiner to the top of our first splitter. From here, I will be color coding each of these other splitters. We can connect the first splitter to the top of our next splitter. From here, we can connect each of these outputs to our conveyors. This is very buggy still. Now let's just connect this directly. We will then connect our next one and we will do this for each each of our conveyors and the more conveyors you have the more splitters you'll need if you have less conveyors you can use less splitters you should have something like this from here all we have to do is connect the inputs to each of our chests to the outputs of each conveyor Next, each of these conveyors has a filter option where we are able to add up to five items. I will add a couple guns and I will do that for the rest of these. Unfortunately, you can only use up to five. I hope in the future we can have either more of these or a tag setting to uh, support more items and finally this last one we will just leave blank since it will be our overflow next we need power i will be using the test generator which has infinite power so you might be using something different couple windmills so this stuff is mid to late game it seems now in the current build uh, it would seem that the electrical is a little buggy so I will be using splitters to connect everything up now I imagine by the release this this should be fixed the problem is these electrical pass-throughs tend to bug out and stop working on the aux build. So we will plug in all of our conveyors. And then we can turn on each conveyor. Now from here it's starting to look like a completed system. 
we should be able to drop some wood, metal frags. Let me do this. Maybe some ammo. And some other items that maybe we don't quite support in our system. As you can see, nothing is getting placed in the wrong chest. Our stone and wood is going here. Nothing here. Our frags box is getting the metal frags we put in. Our ammo is getting the ammo. And I'm sure our AK will show up here soon. If it hasn't gone through. Oh, it looks like it's not coming through. Now, you may be wondering what that combiner was at the start. This is going to connect back into our extra excess box here. The reason for this is as items are going through the system, when they reach the splitter, they get divided three ways evenly. So if you have 90 going in, each output will get 30. If you only have two outputs, each one will get 45. The problem this causes is we can't really control where these items go unless we have filters on the other side blocking them. And in this case, we have a conveyor that does not have any filters, as so it will just pull in whatever item it's given. So in this case, it grabbed our AK, even though the AK is set as a filter on this conveyor. To solve this, it's actually very simple. All we need to do is connect the outputs from our excess box here back into the system. And this may seem inefficient, but over time it will loop through and it will eventually go to its proper chest. And that is a basic storage system with the new industrial update. Of course, this can be scaled up to fit your needs. It does look like it will take up quite a bit of space in your base, so keep that in mind when building. Of course, since each of these are only using their inputs, we can still play with their outputs. We might want to pull ores from our ore box and wood from our wood box to fill a large furnace or furnace, which also have attachment slots for the storage adapters. Thank you guys for watching my first Rust video, first video in general. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I see you again.